Hello, this is Phil Crompton of Aeronautical Software Development. Today I'm going to look at our Arink 424 toolkit which allows procedure designers and other people to edit Arink 424 files. The screen we see here is the opening screen with no files loaded. So what I'm going to do to start with, first of all I'm going to create an airport record. So I just click on the left hand side of the screen here and I get a small menu and I can pick add airport. This creates a new airport record. It is red because there are errors in the data on the right hand side. I'm going to change the region to Europe and I'm going to enter some basic information taken from Stansted Airport in the United Kingdom. As I enter the data, you'll see if I add a valid information into the red boxes, they turn black. So I can enter the lat long of the airport, the magnetic variation. I can go down and put the airport name in. And you can see along the bottom, it is building up the record that will be written to an Arink 424 file when we save the file. Once I've created the airport, I can then right click and add further records related to this airport. I can add a terminal waypoint. Again, same procedure, I can see red columns in here. I just go down um, I'll put waypoint name in here, right, KO code, and a lot long. The basic principle is the same on all record types. To, as an aid, if you hover over the label or the field name, the tooltip shows the reference in the Arink 424 specification document if you need more information on the type of data that is required in that field. To save time during the demonstration, I have a file which I created earlier, which has already got the runway and some waypoints for this airport. So I have got a runway, runway 4 and I've got a number of waypoints. The next thing I'm going to do is create a departure procedure. If I right click on the airport again I can click add SID and that adds a header record for a procedure. I'll give that procedure a name If I extend, expand the procedure now, once we have the procedure, I can click, right click on the procedure name and I can add a transition. We can then, oh, I want to change that, I want it to be a SID or SID common route. I can then add the transition identifier and let's say this is going to be, this is going to be the runway to departure. So we de departing from runway 4. I can then start to add segments to the transition. Change the number, it defaults to 10 and increment in 10 as I add each new record. Change this to CR record. I can then add another procedure, another segment, sorry. Give this number 20. If I type in a fix,
the software knows that I already have waypoints defined within the current file and it will actually pull any information it can from that record. I can then add another segment and just keep repeating the, proced the steps to complete the procedure. Uh, a final segment now it's easy enough to go back and correct any mistakes When we're happy with our work, we can just click on the save button and save that to a file. To have a look at the file, these are text files, so I can actually just open the file with Notepad just bring uh, this into the viewing area and you can see our completed our Inc. 424 file completes the header record with the file name, a CRC check, and allocate file row numbers. Thank you for watching the video.